guys remember when you did your gradated scale, I had you guys tape around the um, rectangle box just to keep the edges clean. The idea is, is that after you're finished with that scale, you just take that tape off and you got that really nice clean edge. You guys are going to need to mask a lot on this project and in different stages, okay? So masking tape is going to be your best friend on this project, okay? So if you guys look at Elena's portrait here, even though this side of her face is really dark and also to her hair, she still masked off those areas, okay? So what she did was, she took masking tape, she masked her shoulder all the way up here, the side of the face, and into her hair all the way to the top. So she had masking tape that covered and protected that edge of her shoulder, face, hair, all the way up to there, okay? And then after she got the masking tape on, then she inked all of this, okay? Now you might be asking yourself, well, why did she go to the trouble to mask off this side of the face if it's just as dark as the background? Here's the reason why. Depending on, the ink actually shows up different when you do it on different days, even if it's the same value, okay? So it doesn't matter if I am going to ink this side in black and I'm gonna do black right next to it the next day, they're gonna show up different. Even though it's the same value, but because I did it on two different days, it shows up different, okay? So, we're gonna take advantage of that and make it a positive, okay? So by her masking those areas off and then inking this in, okay, so after she inked that whole background in, then the next day she came in, she took all the tape off, and then she was ready to start attacking the hair. So after we do the background, the second step is gonna be our hair. So then when she did the hair, what she did was she masked off again this side of now her face and her forehead and then she also masked around where this section of the hair was on the background and then she just inked in that part right there okay and then went to town on her hair after that okay so I'm going to show you another one so everybody's going to be in a little bit of a different situation on their portrait uh, just because we're all different So if you guys look at this one, okay? So this one, he has a little bit of a highlight in the background. So you can see that it's darker here at the bottom, darker here at the top, but it fades out here. A lot of you guys will find that you have spots like that in your background too. So again, what he did was, he masked off his shoulder, his neck, the side of his face, all the way up. Now he stopped his about right here at his forehead, the tape, okay? And then he went in and he inked the background, he faded that out, okay, inked up here. And then about right here is where he kind of stopped and he faded it out with the background. Then he waited to do <laughs> this on hair day, okay? So that was another day, okay? So that's that one. And then I'll show you this one. Here's Trace. Now Trace, this is what's really cool about Trace. This one went on and won a gold medal at a competition that we did, like a national gold medal. If you guys notice, we just made an announcement for our current medal winners. He won last year with this one um, from Dry and Painting One, and it's now st it's still actually traveling the country being exhibited, so it's pretty cool. It started in New York City, and I have no idea where it's at now, but he'll get it back, I think, at the end of this year. I think the end of this year. So, the way that he started off with this, and you guys can see now this, the left side of his face is his dark side, but he had a little bit of a highlight right here. So that's something that we'll talk about another day, but again, the way he started this off, he masked his neck, this side of his face, all the way to about right here at his forehead. After he got it masked in, he inked this background, ink, 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 and up where he knew that his hair was starting, he kind of faded it out, okay? And then, another day, he took the tape off and then was ready to start in on his hair. So that was another day, okay? So for the most part, everybody is gonna start this project off with some sort of masking, okay? So once you have your gradated scale finished and turned in, you have your contour drawing finished and turned in to me, okay? Remember, these are all for grades. Then you're ready to start inking. Okay, that's your next step, okay? So, 
Now I want everybody to go to the round table and I'm going to show you how to actually do this.